Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are talking about my summer essentials. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my summer makeup essentials, basically the products where I either dig these out of my collection in the summer, because it's the perfect time to use them, or if I don't have them, I'll literally run out and buy one, which is actually what I did for one of these products. I have a good mix of products here, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. Let's start out with foundation. So to me, a good sweat-proof, breakdown-proof, everything summer foundation is a, a must-have, especially back when I was actually commuting to work. So if you weren't around with my channel back before the COVID times, <laughs> I would commute to work. I would walk a mile to a train station, take two trains, and then walk another three quarters of a mile, work in an office all day, and then do all of that backwards. So for the summer, when it was hot and it was disgusting, I needed a foundation that would just not budge. And I did find a couple, and these are my favorites. So number one, this is the more higher end one where I'll really only get, uh, if I'm like splurging or treating myself, this was actually one I've had in the back of my drawer for a while, and I brought it back out a few months ago, and I had to bring it out for the summer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Honestly, I think part of me thinks it's overrated then part of me thinks it's not overrated because really it is it's so full coverage it's budge proof I could sweat all day and I still look amazing when I wear this foundation I really don't like the packaging it is just like a pore thing so if you want a, like an actual pump you have to like buy a pump separately which for something that's this expensive I think is ridiculous just give us a freaking pump already right but <laughs> honestly it's actually a pretty good foundation that being said my other two picks are from the drugstore so I haven't purchased this in a a long time this was actually in my backup drawer a long time ago and I dug it out so I don't know if I would go out and repurchase this right away um, because I've got these great affordable alternatives that work just as well in the summer heat all right number one is like the tried and true I pick this up every summer and I had to actually go buy this at Target the other the other week or the other day because I was out and I was like I need this for the summer this is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless this is fantastic. I love their shade range. I love their foundation. They do have the other one, the dewy and smooth. I don't like that one as much. This matte and poreless one though is the goat <laughs> for summer foundations. I am wearing it today. I have shade 102, which is actually a decent shade match for me now. Once upon a time, I used to be like 110, but I'm now, I'm pale because I don't go outside anymore, guys. When I do go outside, I tan really quickly. Uh, like I've got flip-flop lines, like I've got marks because I wear shirts down to here all the time. I've got marks between my upper arm and my lower arm, like a, like a farmer's tan, uh, but I just don't go outside anymore. <laughs> So 102 is my shade. This is medium coverage. It just sits on the skin beautifully. And like, I'm already sweating. Like I've only been filming for like, what, 10 minutes? And I'm sweating, but it's not breaking down and it won't break down. It's actually fairly transfer proof as long as you're not like smudging your face, right? What I mean by transfer proof is if like I'm sweating and I dab at my face with either like a napkin or something, it's not gonna come right off, right? Uh, just don't go smudging your face when you're sweaty and it's outside and you're hot and you got makeup on, okay? <laughs> don't do that. But um, this is actually pretty great coverage pretty great everything for the drugstore and again I need to have this every summer if I don't have it I will run out and I will buy it another favorite of mine I actually did run out and buy this not too long ago this is actually one of the only stick foundations I like and it's affordable and it's fantastic this is from makeup revolution and this is the fast base stick foundation I got the lightest shade f1 I actually used to love bringing this traveling back when I traveled I had a work conference in like early 2019 we went to Florida so I needed something that was going to be travel friendly and stay put in the heat and the humidity and this did both this is great this is medium coverage it goes on so smooth it looks like second skin when you put this on i i love everything about the stick foundation i've tried higher end stick foundations i've tried cheaper stick foundations this is literally the only one that works great on my combination skin and it's amazing in the summer so yes would definitely recommend this and the maybelline fit me matte and poreless if you're looking for a good affordable summer foundation that's not gonna budge and what i also really like about these is that these both have great shade ranges all right after you do your foundation you also need a great sweat proof concealer which was my like ugh, for the longest time when i started doing makeup i could not find like a concealer that was as bulletproof as those foundations so like i found the maybelline fit me matte and poreless fairly early on um and the fast bait stick foundation was a year or so after that but for the longest time, I struggled trying to find a concealer that was also sweat proof because, fun fact, when I sweat, you can actually probably see it right now, I start sweating right here. I like the bridge of my nose and this is right where my concealer meets my foundation. So if I don't have a bulletproof concealer, it'll actually start to break down. And I've had bad makeup days where you could see the sweat broke down just my concealer and so just my under eyes look horrific. It's, I, it's, it's, it's the worst. It's the worst. But I have three bulletproof 
concealers and two of them are from the actually two of them are from the drugstore and then one is still drugstore priced which is just mwah, 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 mwah. The first one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. So I actually have a backup. This is the one right here. It does come with this weird little spongy poof on it that I hate. I don't like putting that on because I've noticed the spongy poof like removes concealer or foundation when I put it on. So I just like taking it off. And if you take it off, you just have the actual like spigot spout where the found it, where the concealer comes out and you can just use a concealer brush like I do to apply and then I blend it out with a uh, shot misse sponge. Uh, this amazing. I've panned, I don't even know how many of these I have panned. I also love the packaging because if you can see it is like an airtight container so you like twist it. I don't want to twist it because I've already got concealer coming out but you twist it and it comes down and then the concealer comes up so you literally don't leave anything behind when you finish one of these and you can do that without having to depot it which is great. My other favorites here um you can finish them up but you have to like cut the tube open and scrape things out i like that this is actually the way it's designed you get everything up you get all of it out it's just it's amazing if i only had one concealer in my whole collection i would use this one because this is great for the summer but i can also use this year round there's another concealer i'm about to talk about where it is fantastic in the summer but it is it is slightly too drying to use the rest of the year this is actually a fantastic year-round concealer which is why i have a backup of it because it's it's great it's great and i also i have the shade 100 ivory in both of these the next concealer is also from Maybelline, and this is the Superstay, this is just a Superstay. I keep thinking it has a longer name, but it's just a Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. It is full coverage. This is amazing. I love this concealer. This is the one where this is perfect for the summer. And I cannot use this one in the winter because it is slightly too drying. So under my eyes, I will look pretty like creepy and like dry during the winter if I use this one. But this is everything that I need and more in the summer it really um doesn't sink into my fine lines so like my under eyes look so smooth and velvety and i mm, mm, i can't get enough of this one um this one and the other maybelline i only use under my eyes i do not use these to spot conceal they're not fantastic at spot concealing but they're just like bulletproof under the eyes and also as eye primer i also use both of these as eye primer for my eyeshadows this is the one where the packaging is actually pretty good it's not my 100 percent favorite because i do like that instant age rewind one but it is a doe foot and then this is a squeezy tube so what i like to do is use up as much as i can with it like this and then once i can no longer scrape out any more product i cut off the very tip and then i can go in and literally scrape all of it out um, it is a little bit more work intensive, but I like that because of this, I can get everything out and then I can clean it and then I can recycle this. Point for packaging. The next concealer is also one that I have a backup of. This is also one I can use year round, but it's also fantastic for spot concealing in the summer. And that's the Dermacol Makeup Cover. This is my backup that's been in my collection for who knows how long. Um, and this is the pack, this is the container that I've had since 2015, actually. <laughs> and I've definitely been using a lot more of it in like the last year because I found out different ways to multitask with it, especially as eye primer, which I had never tried it as eye primer before. But this is amazing. I have the shade, I think it's 210. Let me double check on the box. Yes, I have shade 210. It is pretty hard to shade match this online the first time I bought it. I had to buy like two or three different shades because the swatches online look nothing like the actual shade, so it's difficult. So if you're around my complexion or a little bit lighter, you can go with 210 and still be okay. For everyone who has a deeper complexion, there are more shades, but I would recommend actually like watching a video of someone putting it on and not just looking at swatches because swatches of this is like horrific. It's terrible. You can't find it <laughs> through swatches. This is the most full coverage pigmented product I have ever used. You only need a tiny little dab of it, which is why I've had this for literally years, and it has not gone bad and has not run out. This is my go-to for spot concealing year-round, but because it is so bulletproof, I was gonna say bulletly proof, no, because it's so bulletproof and sweatproof, this is my go-to for spot concealing, specifically in the summer. Ooh, and I apologize, I need a fan break. I am just sweating. Just, oh. Ugh. <sighs> I mean, this could technically be a new also essential. This is a fan that I got on Amazon. I found it as actually a recommendation from another YouTuber. Um, oh, and it's been great. I don't, I didn't buy it just for YouTube, right? I feel fancy using it to dry my uh, setting spray, but I bought it specifically for my work desk because it was getting hot and I needed something small to keep at the side of my desk for during calls. Um, but it's amazing. <laughs>
So I zoomed you in just because I wanted to show you. I did to start sweating right here and I had the fan to help dry that up, but nothing broke down. I was wearing that Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm wearing the, which foundation? The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And they're, it's, it still looks great. <laughs> they're still there. And I was sweating fairly profusely. <laughs> so it is bulletproof. The next necessity for me is a good powder to set everything down during the summer. And my favorite is also from the drugstore. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have shade 001 Transparent because I am transparent. I love these. You can find these at the drugstore. I think typically they're between $3.99 and $4.99, but at my local CVSs, they seem to always go on sale. So I find these between $1 and $3, which is awesome. I pan more of these again than I can count. I, I love this. This is great for all over powdering when you first do your makeup, but also for touching up. I did the other day, we actually had our first date night for the first time in forever. We went to go see a movie and then we went out to eat. And in between the movie and going out to eat, we stopped back at home. So I, st I came back in and I touched up just using this powder and and it also reapplies on top of makeup that's been worn for a little bit beautifully. And it mattifies and it just presses everything down. It doesn't make you look cakey when you reapply like that. It actually looked really, really nice. So this is another thing where I either have a backup pretty much at all times, or if I don't have one, I need to run out and get one because it's just so fantastic. Next, I have some go-to bronzers, contours, and highlighters. My favorite, basically, face palette to use during the summer is this one from Smashbox, and this is the Ablaze Face Palette. I, I love the blushes. I'm wearing the blush here today, and actually the uh, top highlighter a little bit on my Cupid's bow and on my cheek. This is such a beautiful face palette and I actually need to redo the video where I reviewed this because the video I did a couple years ago it's so blown out and oversaturated you can't see shit <laughs> so I need to go back and do it but because I still love the product I still love the product it's fantastic it might just be a little bit too dark for me in the bronzer and the contour but I can use this with a light hand and still get a really nice look out of it I love this palette this is one that I specifically love to bring out during the summer the next face palette that I love that's technically not a face palette, but I love bringing out during the summer specifically, is the ABH Sun Dipped Glow Kit. I saw another YouTuber use this in a tutorial for how they contoured and bronze, and I was like, I could totally do that. So what I do is use this as a glowy blush, this is a highlighter, this is a contour, and then this is a bronzer. I have to go into the very light hand of this bronzer, but this contour is so pretty. I have it on today as my contour. It's, it's beautiful. And I love how glowy this is. Like, looking at this just reminds me of summer. Of course, it's the Sun Dipped Glow Kit, so pretty sure that's what they were going for, but I, I love this palette for summer. I bring it out every summer to use as a face palette. And also if I were to travel during the summer, this is another one that I would bring with me. Another favorite essential product is a highlighter that I love year round. It's my favorite highlighter. I literally have like three backups of it. Uh, but I specifically love it in the summer. This looks the best, I believe, in the summer with like a nice tan outside on the sand at the beach. This is the Royal Glow Highlighter from Becca. And this if you've been around my channel, you'll know that I actually panned a full highlighter. I panned a full one of these, and I have three now because Becca closed, and I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to get a hand, like, hold of this again. So now I bought, like, two more. I think I have three total. But I love this highlighter, and I think specifically in the summer, it looks fantastic. I did layer it today on top of the other highlighter that I put off from the Ablaze Face Palette, and I just think it looks so nice. I also specifically liked this when I would actually tan in the summer. I have not tanned and I don't think I am going to tan this summer, but I am happy that it still looks good on my complexion and it's just, it reminds me of summer, like specifically this shade. It's just so golden and beautiful and just, ugh. The next product that is essential for me in the summer is kind of an odd one, but just hear me out, hear me out. Um liquid shadows. So here I've got a Stila Glitter and Glow, I've got a CoverGirl Exhibitionist shadow, and then I have a Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid shadow. When it comes to the summer, uh, specifically when we've been wearing masks and everything, I've tended to lean more towards eye eyeshadow only looks and not doing the rest of my bare face or keeping the rest of my face bare whenever I have to go out either grocery shopping or go out to do anything else because I'm just going to be wearing a mask the whole time. Something that is fantastic for if you just want something that's quick and lightweight on your eyes, like if you don't want like layers of shadow on your eye and you really just want something like that's quick, that is lightweight, but that still looks amazing, oh, liquid shadow is the way to go. Each one of these I could just slather on my lid and use a quick shade to deepen out the outer V and I'm good. 
um, golden. And it, it doesn't take too long. It looks fantastic. And you don't have to do the rest of your face. Like, <laughs> especially for the chromium liquid shadows. That's been like my go-to on like Saturdays when we go grocery shopping. Literally just use this, uh, throw on some mascara, and then I'm done. And then I'm out the door and I can just wear my mask and have my cute eyeshadow. I get complimented at the grocery store. Just, yeah. Because my eyeshadow. And it's just, it's fantastic. So this is specifically for the summer because as much as I love makeup, uh, sitting in this room with like the lights and it's so hot i'm inclined to spend less time in the makeup chair in the summer uh whereas most of the year I, I like to take my time sit here have my coffee really take my time and do with it uh, but in the summer it's kind of like i want to get in i want to get a little bit on my eyes because i want to look cute and then i want to go <laughs> And these are the best products for that. Last and certainly not least, we have my essential lip product. So I've got two actual liquid lipsticks and then I have two glosses. The first gloss is what I'm wearing today and it did, because I'm talking a lot, wear off a little bit, but this is the AOA Studio Oh Honey Lip Oil. I love this. This is fantastic, specifically for filming or taking photos. It just, it's so shiny and it's beautiful and it's comfortable and it looks fantastic. So this is kind of my go-to when I really don't want to put on a liquid lipstick because it's so hot and it's just like blah. Um, but I still want to look decent on camera or in a cute picture or even like on video cat, on video cat, video chat. Jesus. Another great lip balm, unfortunately, or lip balm, another great lip gloss, but unfortunately this one is a little bit tinted. This is the NYX Butter Gloss. I really like the this formula from NYX. I want to pick up another shade that's not as pinky and like more kind of a neutrally kind of cool tone, but I really like the formula and it is really comfortable. The liquid lipsticks that I need for summer are these bright, bright shades from the Lem Lempty. Oh, I, I, sm I sh smushed together Fenty and Lip Stunna together. Let's Lempty. It's the Fenty Lip Stunnas and these beautiful hot pink and coral shades. When I actually do want to put on a lipstick like say for fourth of july or something these are the hot bright colors and the red but more so these that just scream summer they scream the shore they scream vacation to me and this formula it's so lightweight it dries down it's transfer proof this is my these are my go-to summer lipsticks there we have it. Those are all of my summer essentials. Let me know down below what products you cannot live without in the summer and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.